Well, hello, church. I hope that you are well, and I hope that you stay dry out there this afternoon. Um, it's about 4.45 when I'm recording this right now, and I actually tried to record this just a little bit ago, but it was raining so hard outside and just really pouring down so much that you couldn't really hear my voice very well. So I'm re-recording this, and again, I hope that you stay dry this afternoon uh, with some of that really intense rain. Well, as I thought about my devotional earlier and what I might want to talk about today, I happened to see online that the actor Carl Reiner passed away last night at the age of 98. And I'm not sure if you remember Carl Reiner, but he was something of an American icon, especially in his younger years. So he's probably best known for The Dick Van Dyke Show. Of course, you probably remember The Dick Van Dyke Show. It starred Dick Van Dyke and Mary Tyler Moore supporting him. But the real man behind the show was Carl Reiner. Carl Reiner was the creator, the producer, and the writer of the show. And he was actually one of the stars of the show too. You might remember that on the show, Dick Van Dyke was the lead writer for a fictional TV show called The Alan Brady Show. And Carl Reiner played Alan Brady on The Alan Brady Show that the Dick Van Dyke show was centered around. And it was actually kind of interesting because the character that Carl Reiner played of Alan Brady was something of a mysterious figure. They didn't actually show him for the first three years. I believe it was season four that he was finally shown. They didn't show him at all. And then they showed just the back of his head. And then finally, later, they actually showed him. So Carl Reiner was uh, sort of the man behind that show, both metaphorically and literally. Of course, he was also the father of Rob Reiner, who, among other things, was known for playing Meathead in All in the Family. But he had a career that spanned over seven decades in Hollywood. And it's pretty amazing that somebody would still be noteworthy and worth mentioning that they'd passed away after so long in Hollywood. It's, it's hard to have that kind of staying power in that industry. So he passed away and it also made me think of someone else from another show I, I've always loved uh, called Leave It to Beaver, which you've probably heard of. Uh, there was an actor that was on that show named Ken Osman and he played Eddie Haskell, who you might remember was the sort of practical uh, joker, immature teenager on Leave it to Beaver. And he happened to pass away about five or six weeks ago, I think. And so as I was thinking about Carl Reiner and uh, Ken Osman and how these folks who are celebrities and have these long careers in Hollywood, how they can still be noteworthy and still be remembered, I was thinking about Jesus, who was living on this earth over 2,000 years ago and is still remembered today. So it's one thing to be remembered and celebrated for just a few decades of work in recent years in Hollywood, but it's another thing to remember someone that lived 2,000 years ago. And it made me think that we are the ones who are responsible for keeping the memory of Jesus. Just like there are folks when a celebrity dies who keep their memory, who remember them and share them to the world and what they were all about. We in the church, we who are part of the Jesus movement, you could say, are responsible for remembering Jesus and celebrating his memory today. We're responsible to help others have a living relationship with him. See, that's our call, that's our duty as Christians, is not just to have a relationship with Jesus ourselves or remember what he did for us, but also to share that with others today, all these years later. And that's something that's not just for us as pastors, not just for us who get paid by the church, but it's something that's a part of the calling of every single Christian. And that's important to think about because a lot of times we don't really talk about evangelism in the church. You know, sometimes we talk about uh, showing others the love of Jesus through our actions, which is absolutely essential. But sometimes we need to actually tell others about Jesus. 
We need to use words and telling them what Jesus is all about, what he means to us, why he matters all these years later. And so I encourage you to think about that today. How do you evangelize? How do you not only show Jesus to others, but how do you tell others about Jesus? How is the love and the character of Jesus made manifest in your life? It's important for us to think about that because it's our job as Christ followers to make sure that people continue to remember, to celebrate, and to know Jesus and his love. So think about that, and I hope to talk to you soon, maybe even this Sunday in worship, but if not, I'll see you around. Take care.